so hi friends today we are going to see a tutorial related with the corrosion here uh, I, for that purpose i have selected uh, one one of the paper from the corrosion that is the galvanic corrosion for magnesium and the mild steel here that is the paper of the kiran v deshpande that is the one of the best paper of the galvanic corrosion related with that um, Formsol multiphysics by using that uh, software we can calculate the corrosion uh, current density if we calculated current density we can calculate the corrosion rate so here if you will see here in that paper what they have done here the corrosion rate is calculated here uh, similar to this we will make a model of uh, that same 20 by 10 mm dimensions uh, rectangle and here we will make cathode one side make anode and then we can apply that uh, all parameters of uh, electric potential as well as electrolyte conductivity same model we will apply and we will see the how much is the current density here is generating and uh, how much will be the deformation of that anode uh, now. So for that purpose, uh, here, um, so here I will start to solve, and as well as I have seen the one of the uh, presentation of that um, Deshpande sir, Kiran Deshpande sir. I think he has made, uh, he has done lots of work on corrosion in India. Um, if you will see his paper then you can see it is console console conference of 2010 in bangalore so here they have made a model of similar to this the same model we will make in a console multiphysics also and we can calculate corrosion rate by using this uh, this formula corrosion rate is equal to uh, k into aw divided by rho into pi this now that k is the constant and ew is the current weight in weight of, of that material which is the anode as well as density that is the current density uh, uh, density of material and uh, uh, f is the anodic current density in ampere per meter, meter square so same model we will make uh, for that purpose we have to open the console multiphysics here i will open that console multiphysics then when we will open the model wizard will be there in blank model so we will go to model wizard uh, because we will make the 2d model of that so we we'll click on 2d then next to that after that we have to select the uh, corrosion so here uh, various models models of that um, models are provided by console here uh, i will select the electrochemistry electrochemistry and that corrosion and deform so we will select the secondary because the two materials are used at then after adding that we have to go to study and that here the stationary time dependent various model various studies are here here uh, so one of that I will select that uh, time dependent with the initialization and then you start so it takes some time for open okay so it is asking so uh, here corrosion I will give name to it corrosion so that we have to save it and <coughs> it will take some time here they have, they have given the time dependent initialization uh, information Comsol is a uh, user friendly like um, ANSYS so here we will click on um, we can select the init I will select the init mm then geometry so uh, geometry I will select 
like that so rectangular geometry we have to make so we will click on rectangle so 10 by 10 and that here we give you minus 10 then next to that next rectangle here i will select the rectangle of 10 height will be the 10.1 and it will start from it will start from minus point point one and we will build select okay so here the model will be make model is ready now we will make union because the two materials should be in contact with each other I have selected union then build select okay so unique model is ready now now after that we can go to secondary current distribution here the electrolyte current density we can select uh, sorry electrolyte conductivity so from material here I will user define I will click on user define I will give the 2.5 current density and next to that here we have to define the anode and cathode so first go to electrodes surface electrode surface then select that electrode surface okay and to this part will be acting as a uh, yeah, thought after that we have to give the parameters of electrode reactions yeah. so here um, equivalent uh, equilibrium potential equilibrium potential of anode so i will select that potential is minus 0.58 for that cathode then kinetic expression here this is part of cathode so i will click on cathode table so as well as the next point is the cathodic current density exchange current density of cathode uh, 10 raised to minus 3 after that we click here and cathodic table slope having having the having the uh, cathodic current is in millivolt So I will click here. Okay. Then next, next we will define the anode, anode electrode, electrode surface. After that we will select that. Okay. So next to that here the, uh, we have to do the dissolving depositing spaces. Actually that is a magnesium. So I will add that so mg having the current density 1820 molecule weight is the 0 0.025 kg per mole next to that electrode reaction uh, equal, equilibrium potential the minus 1.55 so uh, I will apply it then anodic tafel equation this side will be backed as anode so anodic tafel anodic tafel equation the exchange current density exchange current density for that I will give value all this file I will apply uh, upload uh, below the video from that you can download easily and uh, next to that current in millivolt limiting current density limiting current density value is and then next to that stoichiometry coefficient number of electrons will Given two electrons are participating 
that two electrons are also important for uh, that corrosion rate and we are calculating that corrosion rate if you will see the formula in that paper I have given the formula also I will show you this this formula Z Z will indicates the number of electrons huh? by this formula we can calculate corrosion rate uh, by using this software due to this software um, there is no need to conduct the experiment or you can use as a use as a validation validation software for that experiment so deform geometry total geometry will be acted as a deform or free deformation so here the deform electrode deforming electrodes so which are the deforming electrodes here uh, is anode because the corrosion of anode is occurring so i will do uh, only that part is acting as a deforming so non deforming part is all other part taking it if you see here is all parts in that also they have given the boundary conditions that boundary conditions also we can we have applied all other parts are non deform these are the non deforming part we will see this this image dx means that um, all these parts are non deforming part here we have to calculate the corrosion of anode so here um, we give non deforming in non deforming zero normal velocity we have to change with the zero normal displacement when the displacement of that part will be a zero and then in meshing if we see the mesh normal mesh you can apply yeah, you can change it but uh, up to certain limit because you, you would overlap that meshing that will not give an answer the current distribution here the time dependent we will calculate for 72 hours you can calculate more also so here i will change that in seconds into hours so here step replace okay so here i have changed all these parameters now next to that I will apply, I will can complete this and it will take some time for completion for solving. So you can see that how that is deforming. So here you can see electrolyte potential 1.28 to 1.48. Current density you can see the current density also. That conversion plot also you can see conversion plot how it is converted. Electrolyte potential. Then minus 1.28 is the electrolyte potential total thickness total electrolyte thickness means uh, how much it will be that that part will be uh, degenerative form so here if you will see this um, i will change this pattern I will select Here you can vary the current density as per uh, our requirement. 
so here I will change it and show you how to change so here you will see the electrolyte current density the electrolyte current density is 110 is the maximum so you can see uh, maximum or minimum data for that purpose show maximum 112 is the maximum current density here the we can calculate corrosion rate also if uh, I have made one factor for that if you want to calculate mm per uh, year the corrosion rate so you have to multiply with 112 into 2.244 so here 251.32 is the corrosion rate in mm per year by this calculation I have not, any, not, not done anything but by this formula here I have calculated that K is the constant EW is the molecular weight of that material and Rho is the density um, J is the um, that uh, electrolyte current density so yeah the electrolyte potential electrolyte potential is 1.4 to 1.28 you can see total electrolyte thickness 1.5 1.2 mm uh, will be the deformation of this part this part deformation that you can see in the animation also for that purpose you have to go uh, into here also you can do animation for that purpose you have to cl click on the player and here you will get the uh, deformation how that part is getting deformed so here uh, I will click on repeat and I will show you each parameters left right current density and play so we can easily solve this see how uh, how the anode is getting deformed after the means how after um, that uh, 24 hours after 48 hours or 70 72 hours what will be the changes here that we can see here okay now next electrolyte after electrolyte current density i will electrolyte potential how the electrons will be flow from anode to cathode that also we can see here see here how that uh, how that electrons are transformed next to that after electrolyte potential electrolyte potential versus adjacent electrons okay next next part we'll see how this total electrolyte thickness change see how that anode is getting deformed and uh, from that you can calculate 1.2 mm will be the deformation the maximum deformation of that okay okay then in that way you can also solve uh, your various problem of uh, that uh, galvanic corrosion 